In this video, I'm highlighting for you two main respiratory cases. You're responding to two different 62-year-old men. They both can't breathe. What do you think's going on? Here's what we got. The first 62-year-old gentleman, you respond to a 62-year-old male with shortness of breath. You find JVD and rails bilaterally with swollen lower extremities. What do you think's going on? So first, let's just underline some things. When we're going through a question, you want to underline all of the information. Now, obviously, if you're doing it on a computer or a screen, do it in your head. So a 62-year-old male who can't breathe, okay? JVD. So JVD, what is that? Well, JVD, remember, JVD means blood is backing up. If blood is backing up in the system, that means the heart is failing as a pump, right? So any question you get, oh, there's JVD. Well, I'll tell you right now, the heart is not pumping effectively if there's JVD. The question is, when we look at everything else that's going on with the patients, there are a few different things that cause JVD, right? Which, what is it? We're going to find out. Well, there's rails bilaterally in this patient. What is rails bilaterally indicative of? Well, it is fluid in the lung. And if we have JVD and there's fluid in the lung bilaterally and there's swollen, meaning edema, in the lower extremities, they're kind of hinting at, what do I think this is? I think this is congestive heart failure flare-up. I think this is a pulmonary edema. There is fluid over the alveoli, that's causing this patient not to breathe well. See how you, if you understand the hallmark sign symptoms, it's easy. The thing is, check me out here. A patient says they're short of breath. When we look at the history, do a physical exam and get vitals. And again, at paramedic level, do an EKG, right? With that information, we then narrow down the track on what we think is going on. You see where I'm going with this? Now look at this next patient, same age, here we go. You are called to a 62 year old male, here we go, with breathing difficulty, okay. So I'm going to a 62 year old male and they can't breathe. So give me some, give me some info. Oh, well, he's got a productive cough with rails on the right side of his lungs. It's productive cough, okay. So he's coughing up something. I don't know what color, but he's coughing up something. He's got rails on the right side of his lungs, so not on the left, okay? He complains of chills and fever. What do I think this is? Well, let's break it down. What respiratory condition, when we talk about an early onset of it, has unilateral rails or could have unilateral rails. This is a common call that you'll get from a skilled nursing facility where they're like, ah, could be, because they keep, they're on the fence. They're not sure. They think, oh, it could be flu in the lungs, up, oh, could be pneumonia, right? That's what they're thinking about. It's pneumonia, right? 62 year old male patient, can't breathe, productive cough, probably green or yellow sputum. They have rails on the right side. So if you have a patient who is coughing up their productive cough, right? They're having a hard time breathing. Maybe it's been more gradual. They have fever. They have chills. They're weak. They're tired. They have rails or they have ronchi on one side of the lungs. That's pneumonia. So what I've highlighted for you is a big key difference in CHF versus pneumonia. And what it is, is the presence of JVD, and I'm gonna explain why, and bilateral rails versus unilateral rails, right? And also the swollen extremities. Watch this. If we have a patient with CHF, we're gonna have bilateral rails, right? Pneumonia, usually most of the time affects one side of the lungs. Could it affect both? Yes, 
but usually in the early onset stages, it is rails on one side. That's one determining factor. Now, what's the other determining factor? When a patient has pneumonia, is their heart affected right in the beginning? Is their heart being, is their heart being squeezed like a, t a cardiac tamponade? Is their heart being pushed like a tension pneumothorax? Is their heart or a chamber of the heart failing like in CHF? Notice those three conditions, tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, and this one, CHF, they all cause JVD because JVD is blood backs up. JVD is your heart failing as a pump. That is not pneumonia. That's not pneumonia. Pneumonia is you got, you've got junk, you've got infection in your lungs. We got to clear it out because it's getting in the way of gas exchange and making your lungs more stiff and not as mobile. Now, a lot of you asked in the comments about how to prepare for school, how to get through school and how to pass NREMT. The first link in the description is a study tool that I give to all my students to accomplish all of that. It's called the Video Vault. Inside the Video Vault is over 480 videos of content, audio files, worksheets, practice quizzes, our community group. What I do in the Video Vault is take all the concepts you need to know to pass school at NREMT and I break them down simply for you. So that way you just follow along with the videos, you follow the study plan, and you pass. I give my students lifetime access in the first link in the description, and I'll see you on the inside.